Pickett was born on November 16, 1949 to Ben and Ellen Pickett in Liberty, Texas. As a child, he enjoyed coin collecting and surfing. As a young man, he served in the Army for two years. He joined the Surf Rider Foundation in the 1980s. I guess my, my parents just taught me good values. There's some things you need to do that you don't get paid for. That you ought to volunteer and, and help solve problems, help other people who need it. Ellis Pickett is a hero to many people in the United States and uh, locally he has done a lot for protecting the open beaches of Texas and the rest of the nation and done a wonderful job with the Surf Rider Foundation and lobbying the legislatures and I, I know a lot of people greatly appreciate what he does. What is the Surf Rider Foundation? Well we have groups, we have over 50,000 members in over 70 chapters around the world. We do beach cleanups, we do education programs to talk about coastal issues, water quality issues, wetlands, things that individuals that you can do to help solve some problems. What led you to join? My interest in the coast, uh, my love for the waves and the ocean, and I, I just wanted to do something to give back and to make sure that we had surf and beaches that people could access in the future. I really think Mr. Pickett's a local hero because he really took the initiative to stand up and say, hey, what's going on here? It's not right. And he just is a good role model for a lot of our young people in the community. And I hope that everyone can follow after Mr. Pickett and do all the great things that he does for our community and saving the beaches. How does it make you feel to be a part of the organization? Oh, it's, it's one of those things it is. It does make you feel good because we've made so much progress in the last 25 years. Things that uh, people did not pay attention to about coastal erosion, about throwing trash on the beach, you know, dumping out paint and oil in your storm sewer and your drain at the street. There's a number of things that, you know, we've done and it, it just it helped to educate people and, and improve the environment. What else are you involved in? Well, I, I'm involved in everything, local politics. I, I vote in every election and everyone should do that. You should also uh, pay attention, learn the issues, learn the positions, learn about the candidates and vote. That's the most important thing anyone can do. The other things we do are, are beach cleanups. Uh, Surfrider also does educational programs for schools. We speak in uh, schools from like fifth grade through high school, college and graduate courses. I think that Ellis Pickett is a local hero because he's gone above and beyond um, to raise awareness in the community about the problems with the beach erosion and reach out to the Congress and try to get bills passed and hopefully that people will start taking care of the beaches and the building and so forth that's going on down there so we can save the beaches for public use. No, no way. I, I'm, I'm actually just the guy who decided I got to make something happen here. I mean, any, anyone could do it. I, I, I guarantee you, you could do it. Anyone could. You just commit yourself to, to solve problems, to make a difference, and just start organizing. Find other people. You'd, you'd be amazed how, how well that works. We, we never thought the legislature would listen to a bunch of surfers. We have no money. We have no clout. They don't respect us. They do now. After 11 years, we are now on the inside of the legislature. 